Hey guys, Archer from Mark here, back with another Star Wars action figure review. And today I have another figure from the Vintage Collection. And is this guy, the Han Solo in Endor trench coat. Pretty cool figure. Give you a better look in a moment. First, as usual, we will get with the packaging. And you got a really cool image of Han Solo, as portrayed by the amazing Harrison Ford. Uh, we got down here, we got the Kenner logo, got the uh, bubble, and you'll notice uh, it is, this is unpunched, and it is the Revenge of the Jedi uh, card back, as opposed to the Return of the Jedi card back. And I might have kept this, I, this got mailed to me like this, it's not a huge deal because I was going to open it anyway for the review, um, but it basically, I don't know if you could tell... There's the, the there's like a giant crease. I'll show you. It basically came to me like this with this giant crease like running down the car. It's like it was folded in half when it was packed. So, so to whoever packed this, uh, fail on you, unfortunately. Uh, but since I was opening again, it's not a big deal. It would have been nice to keep, given it was the Revenge of the Jedi. But anyway, so here's the back. And here you see an image of the original figure from 83 to 84. Again, the, the, the card back, the, the photo is the same as on this, which is pretty cool. Obviously, the figure is a lot different. Uh, and then you have here the vintage description, which I will, I will pause the... Or you can pause the video right here if you want to read this. This is a little different than uh, than the other vintage description. Talking about the Return of the Jedi being Revenge of the Jedi. And then back to Return of the Jedi and so on. But So I'll just give you a few moments there. Okay. And down here we have other figures in the wave. Let's see, Boba Fett, TIE Pilot, Rebel Commando, Luke, Stormtrooper, okay. Pretty cool. Okay, that's enough of the packaging. Now on to the figure itself. And now this is a really cool figure. Now back in, I believe it was 2006 for the uh, VOTC collection, there was... Uh, a Han Solo with Endor trench coat, or just trench coat. I just like to call it the Endor trench coat. I don't know. That was done. Now I have that figure still, still on the card. So, and I think that figure is the better figure of the two. Just kind of slight differences, not huge differences. I think the head sculpt is a little different, and the uh, the paint, the paint scheme on the pants. Or the paint apps on the pants are just slightly different. I think that figure is a little different. Or a little better. So if I'm going to keep one in the package. That's the one I'm going to keep. So I thought I would get this. So I could do the review. But this is still a fine figure. Go all the way down. And you can see great detail on the coat. With the stitching. It really did a great job. And you could really see the sort of camouflage pattern on the coat okay I'll go over, go over articulation real quick you have a uh, ball jointed neck ball hinge shoulders ball hinge elbows swivel wrists you have a ball jointed torso which is cool uh, swivel hips ball hinge knees and ball hinge ankles now as far only as far as only other accessor as far as any other accessories, he has the standard Han Solo blaster, which we've seen plenty of times. There's really not much detail. It's just all black, but, you know, that's okay. And you go down, and it does feature, however, a working holster. So he holds the weapon very nicely in his hand, and it also fits very well in the holster. Uh, let's see if we can. And also, um, let's see. The coat is removable. 
So I'll open it up a little bit. I'm not going to bother taking the coat off just for time restraints. But I will show you. So we'll lift the coat up. And see there you get nice better view of the vest. You know, nice nice job with the holster. Looks really cool with the buckle and so little studs or whatever that is around the belt. Looks really cool. You got that yellow stripe on the brown pants. And again, here you can see Han Solo's trademark sort of black vest and white shirt. Looks really cool. You could even make out the now it's just molded, but you could even make out so the the pockets on the on the vest, which is cool. Now it's that's a plastic vest that's not removable, but it it does sort of move, so you can so you can see you can move it out. And there you go. And uh, in general, this is a fine figure. It's it's very worthy of being added to your collection. Again, if you can find the 2006, I'm pretty sure it's 2006 uh, VOTC Han Solo. I think that's the better figure. Uh, if you could find that at a, at a good price, I would recommend that over this one. But this is still a solid figure. And uh, nice head sculpt, great detail. And also, the, the coat, the coat moves very well with this figure. It doesn't, so you can see how easily is not hindered by the coat at all. Uh, if you don't want to take it off, it is removable, like I said. Um, so yeah, I think that's about all I can say about this figure. It's a, it's a great figure. And uh, very worthy to add to your collection. So, really nice. Glad I picked this up, and um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review, and if you did, please feel free to comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, until I have more reviews for you, I still, I still have two more figures on deck, because uh, uh, another item that I got the other day was my Aqua Droid, so I have that, and the Slave Leia will be coming up at some point. But yeah, there's the Han Solo in trench coat. And uh, yeah. Pick him up if you can find him. Awesome figure. And I'll sign off and say may the force be with you.